Hey guys, back here with Tua in what would be a week 50 update pup date video. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on here, why it's not a week 50 update pup date video, and why I'm going to be done with these weekly update videos. So, I'm not completely being done with making videos with Tua. Don't take this the wrong way, I'm just going to get that out there right away. I'm just going to be done with the weekly update videos, and there's a couple reasons for this. Um, one is I feel like they're just starting to get somewhat repetitive. He uh, is not going through as many changes anymore physically and mentally and just everything else, so I feel like they're becoming very, very repetitive. He's only gaining, you know, like nothing or a pound a week, so physical growth, there isn't really much to make note on anymore. And then a lot of things like his drooling, his barking, it's all pretty much staying similar. And I'm definitely enjoying making them, but I feel like it's not uh, producing as great a content for people that would be interested in the breed. So instead of doing weekly videos, I'm going to be switching to monthly. As far as this style of video goes, where I'm giving you the updates on like his weight, his height, his drooling, his what we're doing to socialize him, all that stuff. Those, that style video, the update, pup date ones, will be switching to monthly. But then the other thing with that too is, we leave first thing tomorrow morning for a couple week trip. We're going to be going kind of all over the, uh, the country here in a way. Um, we're going down to an Alabama football game. We're going to be going and uh, staying with uh, some family in the Kansas area. For Thanksgiving, we're going to be going to Oklahoma. We're going to be kind of all around here for a couple weeks, and Tua won't be with us. He'll be staying at home with my mother-in-law, so I won't have an opportunity to make any update videos for the next couple of weeks anyway. Uh, so I figured this would be just kind of be a good time to make this little announcement about the update on the channel and uh, the update style videos going forward. So no more weekly updates, we'll be switching those to monthly. And when we get back, it'll be, I believe, the day that Tua turns one. So I will make a 12-month update video or a 52-week one. Hopefully, uh, maybe like a week after we get back, just so that I have time to, you know, record him and make observations on his behavior and obviously track his, his height and weight and everything like that. But shortly after we get back, that video should be out, the update on the uh, 12 month, and then we would go ahead and do a 13 month, 14 month, you know, all the way up. And my plan going forward then would just be continue those monthly as far as the update ones go. Um, I definitely don't plan on just uploading once a month. I would assume that uh, I'll do other miscellaneous videos kind of in between. You know, just just random ones. So I wouldn't be updating just just monthly. I'd, I'd say there would be several a month here, kind of like it has been. Uh, but with that out of the way, I, I did go ahead and take his weight for you guys. Uh, so what would be a week 50? He's 128 pounds, so he's up one pound from last week, where he was 127 last week. And then one kind of little behavioral type thing, we did get some snow here. And Tua absolutely loves the snow. It's not his first time experiencing the snow. When we got him, there was snow on the ground, but he was so young that he didn't really know what to do with it or, you know, he didn't really like to play in it or anything. But right now, he absolutely loves it. He goes crazy in it. He runs around. He gets the zoomies. He tries to eat it. Uh, it's kind of funny to watch. Go get it, bud. Go get it, bud. But uh, loves the snow. Do any of your guys bull mastiffs love the snow, hate the snow? Um, he definitely seems to like the cold weather more than the heat. Definitely more easy to tolerate that. He likes to stay outside longer now that we've had the snow for the last few days. Doesn't want to come inside. 
Uh, so that's kind of funny and something to make note of as far as behavior goes. He, he definitely seems to be tolerating the cold a lot better than, than the heat, which I think is pretty typical to the breed. Uh, but anyway, guys, just wanted to get that little kind of not too big a deal, but a little announcement out of the way here just to let you guys know what's going on. You probably won't hear from me then from a couple for a couple weeks since uh, we won't even be around this guy here. But uh, thanks again to all the subscribers, everybody that makes comments on this channel, just trying to uh, create a great log of information about bull mastiffs, like I always say, and help people out that are interested in the breed or already own one. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and take care.